Hello and welcome to yet another gas walkthrough with me, your host, Bill Murphy, uh, together with Clover Moon and Philip Newman, whose puzzles we, uh, I'm about to solve today. Um, we do genuinely approachable Sudoku. Uh, this is free. You can solve this puzzle at the link down below. Um, but today we're looking at Philip Newman's Mighty Crop. Uh, normal Sudoku rules apply. Uh, so, in each Row, column, and uh, three by three box, we must put the digits one to nine once each. Now, what we also must do is uh, we must also follow crop key pairs. Now, um, if we have a white, uh, two cells separated by a white dot, they must be consecutive. So, one, two would work. And if we have more than one dot in a row, three, four, five. That's how those ones work. Black dots need to be double. So um, this could be one or two or three or six. And this would have to be one, two, and four as an example. It may be that, might be that. Um, but that's up to you, the solver, to figure out. Can you do it? Try, give this puzzle a try in the video, in the link in the video description. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to solve this one kind of quick today. So um, I might as well just get into it. So uh, there is only one way that this uh, thing of uh, can double three times while still following the rules of Sudoku. It is one, two, four, and eight. Now, one here tells us that this has to go eight, four, two, and one. And eight here tells us that this one has to be one, two, four, and eight. Now, this one here is interesting because if we're doubling it twice, it can only be one, two, four, or two, four, eight. Now, we could do, that means that this run of three dots here and this run of three dots here could go two ways. Um, it could be, as an example, one, two, four, or it could be four, two, one. But both of those ways will have two in the middle. And similarly, um, two, four, eight, doesn't matter which direction we're doing it, we'll always have four in the middle. This um, tells us which direction, uh, this tells us what this run of three digits is going to be every single time. So because we can't put a two in the middle, because we've got a two there, this has to be four, and now this must be two and eight. Because we can't put a four, because we've got a four right there. This is two, this has to be one and four. This can't be eight anymore, because the only way we can double things is one, two, two, four, three, six, or four, eight. And because one, two, and four are already taken, because of this one, two, four triple in the box, this must be three and six. Uh, this also has to be three and six, but this three tells us how that one goes. So, um, uh, that's quite a lot of puzzle already done for us. Now, uh, this can only be three, seven, and nine, and this can only be, uh, five, six, and nine. Uh, I can't put a nine there. Um, that is very useful. We're going to look at this one next. Um, Okay, so the way that I personally like to look at these puzzles is that um, with crop key dots, and especially when I have a lot of crop key dots in a row, I tend to pencil mark these aggressively. Um, but what we can do is we can actually almost write this one in straight off the bat. Now, um, so six, and five could either go up and five, six, seven, eight, six, seven, eight, nine, or they could go down. Uh, six, five, four, three, five, four, three, two. But those that I just said, um, if this was to go up, if this sequence just was to go up, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, both of those would require an eight. We already have an eight in the box. We know that it can't go up, so it must go down. So, this is either five or four, three or four, or two and three. We have a two in the box, so this rules it out being two, three, four, five. So it must be three, four, 
sorry, let me get that right, three, four, five, and six. Right, now, um, this can never be nine, because if it was nine, it would have to come down via eight, and we already have an eight there. So, um, this can never be nine. Now, uh, seven would always have to go down, descend in uh, mathematical terms. So, it's going to have to be six, five, four, uh, because uh, that, uh, because if it was to go up, it would have to do seven, eight, nine, ten. And ten we can't do in Sudoku, and there's also an eight in a row. So, it either has to be seven, six, five, and four. Or if it goes up, it has to be four three because it can't go three two one zero. Um, it would have to be three four five and six. Now it means we always have to put a five there, but because this can't be four, this has to be six. So that's four and seven. We have a four down there. That's why that works. So seven and seven out of there. Um, that's that's pretty good for us. Seven, two, uh, this has to be two, three, and eight, which is going to do some damage for us here. Nine and five and nine. Uh, this is five, six, and eight. Um, this can't be three. And now this is three, nine, and this is one, six, and seven. Uh, we can, because we know that this has to have two and eight in it, this must be three. And three has to go up here. <laughs> Pardon me. Now, uh, oh, and we can do it six and three now. Cool. Uh, this is one seven nine, and that's that is basically everything I can do right now. Cool. Um, let's look down here because this is the next most obvious thing I'm spotting. Uh, the only way with a seven and a four here that we can have a run of three consecutive digits must be one, two, three. Because we know that three can't go on this end, it has to be one, two, three. And because of the one, uh, one, four pair up here, we can take the one out of here and put a one in there. Um, six, seven, nine, uh, no, six, seven, eight. That's what goes in here. Uh, this is eight and two. Take the eight out of here. Um, Oh, where does six go in column seven? Six must go here. Uh, nine, five, uh, one, seven, eight, five, eight, and this has to be five, six, and seven. Now, the only way that this dot can work is is if it has both. Uh, it's either five and six, or it is six and seven. Because both of those would require a six to be on the dot, it means this can never have that six. Seven, seven, uh, six and seven, meaning this is five and six. Uh, four, nine, seven, uh, nine, five and eight. All right, now let's come up here and finish this off. What is this? Well, that's a good question, Bill. Uh, the only possible way that this can work is if it is three, four, five, because uh, it has to be lower than seven, lower than six, technically, and it has to be higher than two, so it has to be three, four, five. So four, three, five. Let's clean up the rest of our Sudoku here. Nine, eight, five. Uh, and what do we have left? Do we need to work out, do we need to apply any real logic to figure out what's on our dot? No, we do not. It must be seven and eight. Seven, eight, two, eight, two, and six. That is Mighty Crop by Philip Newman. Um, I am still Bill Murphy. Uh, Clover is around. She'll be back to solve more puzzles at a later date. Um, I hope you have a lovely rest of your day. Enjoy whatever time zone you're in. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Cheers.